Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here, welcome. I think it's day five today of Vlogmas. Um, we've just received some good news here in Milan, so it's become, from today actually, it's become a yellow zone. So that means that um, it's like the least strict guidelines now in Milan. So we can basically go out for whatever reason we want. Um, cafes and bars are open again so sorry I should clarify in Italy um, bars are like cafes where you go to drink coffee like in the morning and things like that so we went this morning um, for the first day you can actually like sit in inside the bar and have your croissant and drink your coffee and it's super nice so it's a lot more I guess relaxed now and the sun's out today so it's it's super nice I'm just here now um, drinking my coffee um, but I thought I'd start a new video today because it's the first day that in about two weeks that it hasn't been raining um, so I'm going to have a really nice relaxing day today um, been out already in the morning we woke up quite late today about nine um, just because last night we were both having really bad sleeping like troubles to sleep we both couldn't really fall asleep and kept waking up like in the middle of the night I don't know why but um, we woke up this morning and we were both so tired so we just said okay we'll just sleep in for a little bit longer and I got up at nine like had a shower and everything um, and then we went out and we sat at the bar we had our cornetto and our coffee um, and then we just came back home um, and I made another coffee because I always have like even if I have an Italian espresso it's not enough for me like I need to have um, I need to have like a big coffee because I like to sit down and enjoy my coffee and like just catch up on my work that I have for the day and whatever so I like to have my big coffee and just like sit on my laptop or this morning um, because it's Sunday we went to the newsstand this morning and I got like a, a magazine I usually do that each week I get like a different magazine or something to read so this week um, a new Vogue came out so I got the new Vogue magazine um, so I'm gonna sit down and read that in a second it's all in Italian though so it's <laughs> it's a little bit hard for me to read and it takes me hours <laughs> to get through it I don't read everything but I try and read as much as I can and I guess little by little I start to pick up um, more words and um, more whatever if I'm confused about something I'll just ask my boyfriend and he'll clarify something for me but generally if I know like the subject of something I can kind of work out what it means based on the context that I'm reading about um, so that's fine that's um, it's going well my reading but I really kind of I really enjoy Sundays and like the slower pace and just the end of the week and today um, I'm actually sorting out like a bunch of work stuff um, so for my um, I told you guys that I just started like a freelance writing job um, so I'm going to be doing like a bunch of that today I'm um, just finishing off things I'm um, finalizing for tomorrow morning I'm going to send off a bunch of my work tomorrow um, because basically I can either write about brands specifically or I can write about like a topic like something that is newsworthy within the fashion industry um, at the time so because everything's done um, a long time in advance like the things that I'm writing now um, that I've just submitted are going to be published in January and then the things that I'm writing right now um, that I'm going to start submitting like this week and next week um, will be published like February and March so I need to keep that in mind when I'm writing like topical things because you know it could like not be newsworthy when it's actually going to be published so I need to think about that as well um, but I'm really enjoying kind of the process of discovering new brands because a lot of the brands that I'm writing about I actually haven't ever heard of before um, so it's a really kind of interesting process getting to know new brands and like the meanings behind their collections and how things have changed this year and um what it's kind of meaning for the fashion industry moving forward so it's quite an interesting process even just to like to be researching all of this stuff um because I've never studied fashion before so even though I know a bunch of you know different brands and um you know a bit of the history behind the brands it's nice like to be able to 
be part of like discovering new and emerging designers and brands and their creative ideas and their creative processes it's all it's super interesting to me so i like um discovering meanings behind the different collections and yeah it's just it's just a super fun kind of process so i'm really enjoying that so i'm going to try and organize that i like to get everything kind of sorted um on sunday so then on monday i can start the week fresh and just to be kind of like feel like i'm on top of things so that's kind of my plan for today i think this afternoon after lunch i'm gonna meet um one of my new friends she's from denmark i met her last last sunday actually we went out for a little walk like near duomo and um she has her boyfriend here in not in milan but kind of close to torino like in piemonte so um she hasn't been able to see him yet um she hasn't been able to see him since like all the lockdown rules and everything but hopefully i'm not sure if they're a yellow zone piemonte but since milan became a yellow zone today um that means that if piemonte becomes a yellow zone then they'll be able to see each other so that's really good for them um and it also means that because my uh, my boyfriend's hometown also became a yellow zone so because Milan and Basilicata are both yellow zones now we can go there to his family's place for Christmas so that's really good news and um, we've just been doing like a bunch of Christmas shopping and things like that this week um, getting like final presents sorted and everything like that so it's been really fun and I love Christmas wrapping I don't know if any of you guys are the same but I take pride in my wrapping and I always have like pretty paper and then I um, tie it with twine and like um, name tags and things like that and then put like I just love it I love this time of year and I love wrapping presents so I got like um, a hand of one for everyone I'm gonna bake some biscuits I still don't know what kind yet maybe something with cinnamon or like something Christmassy um, like spices and maybe like some with Nutella or something so that's my plan um, this week we're going to leave Milan in about six days so on the 18th um, on the 18th of December we're going to be leaving here and they'll probably stay there for about a month or so but it's still um, not really not really certain yet so we'll just see what happens um, I also have my birthday next month as well oh my gosh it scares me that I'm getting older but but yeah I'm gonna take you guys along with my day um, and see see where it takes me um, and you can come on a nice relaxing Sunday with me afternoon with one of my friends and we just got a coffee and like went for a walk but it was so nice today to actually just like sit down in a bar and enjoy a coffee like sitting down because we haven't done that for ages because you haven't been allowed to do that in Milan you've had to get like always takeaway coffees um so it was so nice for a change um to get a bit of like normality back and um actually sit in the cafe and just have a chat and not have to leave um super quickly and have to stand up while you're drinking your coffee so that was so nice we enjoyed that this afternoon um and tonight uh, my boyfriend's actually gone out to have like an aperitivo with some of his friends um so i'm just here by myself and i've taken upon myself to bake some cookies so i'm baking some um i'm baking some lemon and ricotta cookies super random but we have to use up all the ingredients because we're leaving in a few days and we had some lemon and we had some ricotta so and I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier, but I really love that combination anyway. So I've made some lemon ricotta cookies that are in the oven now. So we're going to see how they turn out. Um, and because we also had like leftover um, 
like icing sugar from the panettone, not the panettone, sorry, the pandoro that we bought the other day. Um, I'm gonna like dust them when they're finished with a little bit of that, so it should be really nice. I'm gonna see how they turn out, but yeah, hopefully they're not a fail like my other, the other cookies that I made, but I'm gonna show you guys when they come out of the oven. Um, but I'm about to make myself like a little bit of dinner. I'm just thinking I'm gonna make like a, a basic like tuna salad with um, spring onions and maybe some tomatoes. I think there's some left. Yeah, I might just do that. Something easy. Um, and yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. I might pick up the vlog again tomorrow. Um, like after I show you guys my biscuits that I'm making, the little cookies. Um, I might end that there and then um, head out tomorrow and do something a little bit more exciting. Um, I've got to check out a, an apartment for my friend because um, the girl that went back to Germany, my friend that um, was living in Milan with me when I first arrived, um, she's coming back next year and she's found this apartment that she might want to stay in, but she wants me to just um, but she wants me to kind of just like check out the area for her and see if it's um, safe and like a nice kind of area in general. So I'm going to go do that tomorrow um, and I'll probably make a little day out of it um, and go to maybe Monte Napoleone. It's like another shopping district. Um, they've got a bunch of shops there and I think they decorate it really nice for Christmas. So it'll be nice to show you guys that. And maybe I'll actually take you through Navigli. I don't know because I haven't taken you guys there yet. So that could be nice as well. Um, but just to like get out for the day as well, um, might take you there. But I'm gonna sign this little clip off here and show you when my biscuits are done. So these are how my cookies turned out. Um, so they're lemon and ricotta and I've topped them with um, like some lemon rind and some icing sugar that we had left over. So they look super yummy. I can't wait to try one. I've just finished my dinner now, so I'm gonna wait for a while um, for my dinner to kind of digest a little bit and then I'm gonna make a cup of tea and have one of my biscuits. Hey guys, so I'm in a place called Garibaldi right now. Um, I've just come out because I wanna finish a little bit of Christmas shopping. Um, and also I wanted to show you guys the area. It's called Porta Nuova um, or Porta Garibaldi. Um, and there's like a bunch of water features, a bunch of shops and things like that. So I wanted to take you guys on a bit of a walk just behind me. You'll be able to see the Bosco Verticale. Um, and I'm gonna take you guys along a little bit. I just wanna do a little bit of shopping. Um, so I think I have to go to Muji. Um, I got a bunch of things in there as Christmas presents the other day, but I wanna buy a diary because I feel like my schedule just isn't properly, um, it isn't properly sorted. And I hate just like trying to sort everything out on my laptop desktop which is what I'm currently doing and it's just stressing me out a little bit so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy a diary hopefully they have one in there um, it's like a Japanese shop if you've never heard of it before they've got some really cool things um, that I find to be like really kind of useful so I'm gonna take you guys along with me I might go get a coffee as well um, it's just after lunch now so it's probably time for another coffee I think <laughs> we have this really really nice seafood pasta um, and yeah, we usually have that on every Sunday, but on Sunday this week, we um, my boyfriend forgot to defrost it. So, um, what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to take you guys along with me. Um, this will probably be the end of this vlog, um, the last little part of this vlog. But I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. So this is called Porta Nuova. Um, it's like a really kind of new part of Milan. Um, this is the Uni Credit Building. So up there um, it's just a little place it's really nice they've got a bunch of different shops here um, so over there is like Sephora and Under Armour um, I bought some shoes from there the other day actually um, and then there's like the Mall Skin Tesla Dyson it's really cool it's kind of like a new um, shopping district or relatively new anyway I wanted to go and get a coffee at Illy the coffee shop that's kind of just behind me here, but they've been closed for the past like week or so. I'm not really sure why, um, but yeah, it's been closed every time I've come here for the past like couple of days. So don't really know of any other places that I can go to get a coffee around here, but I might have to go for a walk like kind of in 
the Moscova area and um, yeah they've got a bunch of cafes there I went there the other day with my friend um, to get a coffee and they had like kind of a nice coffee shop there so I might go back there and um, have a look around and see what I can find um, and I might just have to go to Starbucks or something I'm not really sure but let's see I actually wanted to have a look in this store anyway because they've got the like diaries and things like that here this is the Japanese store that I was talking about before Muji so we're gonna have a look in here and see what they've got I'm just walking down a street now called Corso Como. It's one of the main streets in Moscova, or Garibaldi in Moscova kind of area. And all the um, like cafes and things all starting to open again. So I actually want to show you guys one particular cafe. It's called Ten Corso Como. And it's just here where the Christmas lights are. You'll be able to see it here. Um, if it's open, it will let me go inside. It's so pretty. So they've got like all their lights and things like that up at the moment. And basically what it is, is like a cafe. So good. It's like a cafe, but it also has a little gift store attached around the back. And up the top, you can also go up to like a rooftop. So through here is like the little store that's attached. So they actually didn't really have what I was after in that shop. I wanted to get a planner, but they only had a couple and they were like super expensive and not really worth it. So I also wanted to get a, um, like a card, some Christmas cards because um, I haven't really got any of those yet and I feel like it's nice to put them with a gift but I think what I'm actually going to do is just go grab a coffee from this place that's just up here. Just over here, it's quite nice, this little cafe. Um, I came here the other day just for like a takeaway coffee with one of my friends um, and they have a really good um, kind of roast for their coffee beans. So I'm going to go in here and see if I can just grab something to take away or I might actually sit in and have a coffee. Might be nice. But they've got like their Christmas trees on the front and everything else. slight fail of a trip because I didn't do anything that I needed to do and I just sat and had a coffee by myself but you know sometimes that happens I hate how this stupid camera doesn't focus properly but um but yeah I think I'm just gonna head home now I might have a quick look and see if I can find a card or something but honestly I think I'm just gonna go home I'm gonna end this video here guys but give it a thumbs up if you liked it Make sure to subscribe for new videos every few days or so and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye!